thanks for joining me at the table. What I'm doing this evening is, as I said, is putting these aliens together. If you've just got into the game and I've already done, I don't know what, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 of these things. Yes, is that 8, 9, 10, 11? And I'm going to start at 12. I've got 16 to do. And I've done eight of them with this little tiny um, MDF little square. I needed some kind of pointer thing. Oh, that up there. As you can see, just in there. So I'm going to focus in there a minute. Hang on, so you get a better view. A better view. Do you see right there? So, yeah, right back there. So that's what I've done. I've added a little, tiny little uh, MDF base. And basically what I do is I attach or pop, pop in a 5 mil dice. Yeah, look at that, cool. At the time I saw this on the Facebook channel, um, or actually one of the battle reports, and I thought, oh, that looks interesting. I'll give that a go. So I bought some. I bought it back. You get them off eBay. Come about 10, and I bought a load of dice. I can think of about 50 of these little dice. They were coming handy for other game systems. So... Anyway, so that's what I did. Uh, then my son, uh, other people did say, oh, you can get, you know, there's other alternatives that you can get. That's just to show how many aliens this is actually standing on, or, you know, but they're steady not using the cardboard tokens, just uh, including that one, and then there's five underneath. So that's totally five aliens all together. But there is a, a, like a little base thing that you can use, and you can touch your alien sitting on top. Um, I think it's on the Facebook channel of Aliens. And, yeah, so, unfortunately, my son went and bought myself, or bought himself a uh, 3D printer, so we're going to have to look into that. But for now, I'm just going to use this method. So, here I have, I've got another eight of these, or oh, I'm doing five more of these to do, to complete, finish, so I get eight, 16 altogether. And I'm going to show you how I stick these together now i'm going to use two glues super glue with a rat, little rat tail what you call a rat a rat tail i think after i think that ends blocks i'm after cut that tip off i'll do that now so i'll get my little scissors these what you call micro scissors ideal for fly fishing and anything other than that and for modeling as well so i just there we go. And then pop the blades back into the little holder. Little springy things, not too bad. I got them off Amazon or eBay. Not bad price. Nice fits in your tool bag and then that'll fit on my glue. So I'm just going to prep these up and get this ready. And I like these little bottles. They are pretty good. So let me go with that. Now be careful that you don't force these because they'll break that easy. So there's a bit of glue in there and I should have really scraped that out, but it's all right for now. So I'll put that in there and that, that is good to go. So that's set to one side. <clears throat> so my son detached all of these aliens from the sprues and popped them into these little baggies. As you can see, I have them all in the little baggies. So this is how I put it together. Oh, the other glue. Now, let's talk about this. This is what I call plastic weld, plastic mech, um, Tamiya's extra, extra thinners. I know it is the bottle, but if you look on the back of the label, they'll tell you the two components that you need. There is a third one that's in there, and I think it's like a deod like a deodorizer for, what do you call it, deodorizer? It basically reduces the smell, the odor, odorizer, something like that. It reduces the smell of this stuff. But this is a 50-50 mix, acetone and acetate. Yeah. And try not to leave the lid off too long because it does get to you. Don't sniff this. I'm, I can guarantee you. Yeah. It'll um, upset the, the nose, nostrils areas. More like burn a hole in your head. But as I was saying, so I use this. Okay. So it's 50-50 mix, acetone and acetate. Or you can use Tammy thinners. If you wonder why it's stuck in the lid, because I had this stuck down on on my bench. Um, on my this is a silicone mat. This is a silicone mat, a crafting mat, and it's about what is it, sixty by forty or something like that? Yeah, sixty by forty inches. Okay, so let's pop this out now. What I've got here is, of course, I've 
dry fitted most of this. There's just some parts that need cleaning off of this. So I am going to use a selection of my own, where I make my own, um, put that in there so it's nice and safe. It's out of the way. Put that on there, the lid. My own, um, what do you call it? Sanding sticks. Um, I'm using 320 grit paper, 120 and 2000. And what does it have a white one? Yeah, and a 240. So that's, I buy sheets of the stuff and then I just use, well, I'll do another video if I put these together, but dead simple. So that's just a selection of little tools. And I have another mold and line, mold line remover. Not, I like this thing. It's comfortable. And I have the old trusted blade, scalpel blade. You can either use the actual sharp bit or the back of the blade. Similar, sim, similar to this thing, okay? All right, so let's get started. So first of all, I'm going to... I need to do some scoring before I get started, and that's in the joint. So I use the tip of my blade, and I just do this. Just basically score into it, scratch, it, scratch the surface, so to speak. This will help the glue bond with the opposite side and as a joint on the elbow as you can see on this bit just scrape into there like so and that will help bond the two pieces together when you add the uh, time is extra thinners or plastic plastic weld oh excuse me a minute all right so let's skip this one or you have to do inside inside the body part. I'll show you now this bit. Can you see it here? This bit in here. Let's try and get a little bit of focus on there a bit more. Just a little touch. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to be out of focus, but that's about the best I'm going to get, I think. Oh. Yeah, that's a bit naff, isn't it? So I'm, I'm too far. I'm too far for focus off. What I'll do is I'll pop this to that one and I'll bring it right up to the camera. And see if that one works. Oh, that's better. So as you can see that look, you see the little scratches in there? Let's get a bit closer. There, look. So I'm gonna add a few more and then you'll see what I'm doing. Yeah, no, that's better. Oh, mark focus. Oh, there we go. Okay, and then I'll show the the socket. Ooh. Bit awkward that one was there. You can see I've scratched into it there. Okay, so that's ready to go. And the other side of the body done, I think. I've done that one. I've done it inside there. I need to scratch on this side. This is where the head's going to fit. Now, hopefully, this is the correct head for these bodies because my son did get them all mixed up. And guess what? That's not the right head. Oh, that's cool. Is it? No, that's not the right head. I don't think it is. Hang on a minute. I think it is not. Okay, so I've got a bag of heads somewhere. There we are. I should have checked this before I started, but there we go. Live on air, this is. So let's look at this one. Is it the same thing? I'm not quite sure. Oh, it's the other way around. So I'm looking for a little tail on. And I think that's it there. Nope, that's not the one either. So it's a short, stubby tail bit. And I think, nope. Is it this one? Possibility it is not that one. Oh, it could be that one. Yeah, I think that's it. Let's check the other side of the body. Awkward these little things are. I think that's it there. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Yeah, I've got it. Right, let's get rid of those heads to one side. <laughs> that's cool. Straight away. Okay, let's get a little bit closer in. All right. There now then. Let's focus. So that should do about there. Okay. Yeah, that head. So what I'm going to do straight away is oh, sand some of these edges down. Um, right on the edge of the rim. You can see it when I glance. You can see that little tiny little dot. There, yeah. So I'm going to use... Let's say 240, just to run over the top, just to help start it, and then go to 120, and then smooth off with the 300. Yep, 
Yeah, um, well, I glue the paper to uh, this is what you call it is a cocktail stirrer, the cocktails, a coffee stirrer. Yeah, buy a box of them, and then these ones are the lollipop sticks. You get hundreds in a box or a packet. Um, air dressers, craft, craft shops, that type of thing. That's where I get my stuff from. And then I go down to the local hardware store and I buy the sheets of um, sandpaper. Yes, you can buy your own sanding sticks. They come from Tamiya or from whatever other company is supplying them. But I like to prefer, I prefer to make my own. Because I have to travel a little bit of a distance to go and get my models. We only have one model, model shop in my area. I live out in the countryside, so I have to pop into town every so often if I just want more sticks. But in this way, I find it's a lot easier to make myself. Okay, so that's all right. Oh, that's right there, a little bit in there. So I say I'm using a 248 and then 120. And it just smooths it out. And then finish off with a 300. I have... Have I got a 300? Yeah, I've got a 320 as well. There we go. Okay. I have to hang on a minute. I'm going to have to take a swig of tea. Oh. Oh, that's nice. Okay, so, yeah. That's that ready. Now then, let's check the head. Now on the front of the face, which is roughly about, let's get the camera about. You have to excuse me, because I've, I've just come on from work. Yeah, you can't basically, I might have said shaved that one off, but it's normally a little thin line, like that mold line, you can just barely see it. Very, very minute. I need to get my glasses on. And then I can actually see it myself. Oh, it's not too bad on this one, so I'm going to just use the the 2000 grit and just to smooth it off. And it'll polish it up at the same time. Yeah, that is just nice. Okay, just a little bit of the front there. All right. It's not too bad. A little bit more of a rub, I think. Just a little bit harder. That's better. Now, down the inside of the spine, so to speak, there's a small nodule, or I don't know what you would call them, this, uh, a key from the sprue, and just to sand it down a bit. Okay, so we're just getting into there. Nice and gentle. Okay. So, all the way around. All right, that's the head done. And now we're going to work on the body bit. There's not much on there. Just to do, I think these are, I think these are what they call the horns or some kind of breathing tubes. I'm not quite sure. I've, I've not really looked into the law, but I think that's what my son was calling them. Or somebody was calling them that anyway. So what we'll use here, me 120, just to break them up a bit, right? And then polish them off with this. And then there's one right on the corner on the shoulder, just about here. Yeah, I don't know if you can see it there. Rough about there. It's just just here. Sand that down a bit. Let's get the 120 up. There we go. And then polish it off. Now I normally excuse me, I normally check the legs because as the odd occasion there's a little mold line. Some of them I would just actually leave, but that one there is very prominent on that leg, on that joint, on the knee joint, the, the knee joint. And at, at the back, whoop, 
at the back. We've got one just near enough near the butt, so to speak. <laughs> so let's shave this one down a touch. There we go. Now smooth that one off. Yeah, perfect. Did I just break that? I think I just did. Oh, I did. No, I didn't. Put too much pressure on it, on the horn. Oh no, it's just the, just the way it's sitting. Okay. Uh, that's that body part done. Let's do pop to the opposite side. It's the same thing again. Let's go that one there. Let's go the 120. And just slowly draw it back. Let's pop that round that side. You're wondering why I've cut them like this because, yeah, I get better hold if I'm holding this way and I can use it for bigger areas. And I basically use a scalpel there just to cut into those. And then that bit there, I use it for other things as well. So, and then on top of the collars, uh, not too bad. Okay, now we're going to polish this all off. So, I'll do one with polishing with a, a 2000 grit. Yeah, you think, oh, it's not working, but actually it is. But use all the stick, not just, well, yeah, everybody ends up using the tips. There's all this to be used. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, so that's that one done. We'll check the butt. Not too bad. Oh, right, it's underneath the thigh, so to speak, is where the we cut it off the sprue and I just smooth that down I don't want to because it's, it's right next to the detail of I don't know that would be the like the the ribs so to speak that showing through the the joint of the leg yeah yeah and if the, these are nice little creatures like I mean not as in you know I mean model wise I will not want to face one of these in the you know what I mean in the dark <laughs> okay so I'm going to check, that's the both arm, oh, yes, on the hand, just about halfway up the, the, the forearm, is this little part where it's connected to the sprue, so I'll just quickly go over that, I tell you, i got fibromyalgia, and it, oh, just, just holding that there is very uncomfortable, but there you go, let's smooth that down, let's pop on, and we'll check underneath, there's tiny little nodules on the hand, so I think there must have been fingers at some point, or were going to grow into fingers. Or it's just little oh, tiny little horns. So be careful not to knock them off. All right, and then on the shoulder itself, there's one right there. You can just barely see it, right on the top. There we go. If excuse me, fingernails. But I'm a saw doctor. I work with industrial blades. Okay. There we go. Now I'm going to put some grit paper on one of these bigger thingies. Just to help through. I've not actually played this game. I mean, I spent more time watching the videos while I'm working, when I'm doing my blades at work. And I, so I, you know, I multitask, as they say. So I can watch the vids, basically listen to what's going on, and then, you know, while I'm working on the bench. Right, we'll do this side, and then that should be ready to stick this thing together. Now 
to 120 on the that's a 248 oh that one there there we go yeah I haven't got a yeah that's it there now we've got it now I've smoothed that in let's go and check the back of the arm that's not too bad I'm only going to leave that one in there at the joint oh it's on the top this one's right in front whoop right in front of the wrist I don't know what you call these the, the little joints between the objects you know that the, the actual model piece and then the sprue you know those tiny little bits that you got a cuff are, are they called keys or something Oh, they're joints. Oh, I don't know what you. I don't know little little, little tabs. They have to cut the the model from, or oh, oh, the the actual model piece from the sprue. I'll just call them keys for now. I think, yeah. So yeah, that's that's all right. That'll do. Okay, so that's oh tail. Yeah, I don't like the. The actual tails themselves right down at the ball joint not very good yeah, i'm not quite sure why they did it like that i would have preferred if it was all like joined and it stuck to the base and come up around the around the creature itself now somewhere on here there's a part that has to be cut off the sprue i think it's just there that's before the little i don't know what you would call these the little tiny little spines so as you can see oh, I've got to adjust my glasses so I can see what I'm doing <laughs> that's daft right just and I get a little pointer I need some kind of pointer don't I oh that'll do right it, so it's just roughly about there oh I'm off camera let's focus there just about there it's a part you've got to shave and one down here let's get that there where are we? You turn, 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 turn. So it's roughly about there. Yeah, about there. And I, what I tend to do with these is just a quick. I lost it now. Or was it? Oh, it's on the other tails. Oh, no, that's it. It's about halfway up. About, about there, roughly on the curve. And I just quickly just go over them. That makes it nice and clean. And then one here. Just go in one direction, so to speak. I think that's the best way. That's the way I do it anyway. It's just to blend and make them all nice and neat. Okay, and that's it. That's the tail ready to go. Now we're going to stick this thing together. So the first of all, I'll put my sleeves back a bit and have another swig of tea. Nothing like a good cup of tea. Okay. Now then, I want to try fit these bodies together. Oh, perfect. That's just nice. Just having a quick look. Okay. So, let's put some of these toys away first. I won't need them again in my trusted, my go-to toolbox, which is right there. I'll show you my little go to toolbox yeah you see it this is it here i have everything in that <laughs> it's just what i meant to get this plastic lids and and bog, uh, <laughs> paper towel roll holders and i have everything in that and i have tables in you know containers all sorts but that's what i use to keep all my bits and bobs and i have everything in there all my go-to tools and i have hundreds of more on the table Oh, excuse me. <coughs> I'm put that in there. Okay. So what I want is my brush, and my glue. I'm going to leave the super glue for the moment. I want to stick the body together. So with my little brush, dab it into there, and oh, I've got to put the head on first. So into this shoulder area, or the collar. 
Whoop. Let's put that there and pop that on the top. Okay. And then take the head, wherever it is. Twist this around and then feed that into the socket. Just hold it in there for a few seconds. And a presto. It's included. There we go. Okay. Now then let's zoom in a bit more just to get so I can see the other half of the body. About there. Okay. So I'm now going to, there we go, get some glue on the brush, around the head, down inside the spine, right down to the butt part. That's okay, leave that for a few seconds. Let's get the lid on there. And take the other half of the body and marry up to this bit. And just keep it there for a few seconds. That's it. And pop that in there a minute and then bring that across a bit closer so okay this is now that's the body a bit done and i'm go, now gonna do add a bit more glue to sec secure it make it all nice and tight and rock hard so to speak is run it down the center this this part the, the joint so to speak right down to the butt crack between the legs and then Around the base of the spine, other side, let's add a bit more. Yeah. Okay, so that's that way, and then over the shoulders. So basically, everything's getting sealed, so it makes it rock solid. And I can leave that. Now, what I'll use this glue as well for is to smooth off any plastic areas, or plastic areas, any, any scor uh, scuff marks on the plastic, and I just quickly, gently run this over and it will smooth off any plastic any, not plastic scratches on the plastic okay and I'm going to do inside the leg no yeah oh I must have got glue on my fingerprint because I've left oh, on my finger because I've left the fingerprint mark on the knee joint and that's it done yeah, let's move that off there, but it's a little bit rough there. And that's it ready. Okay, so I'm going to leave that for a few seconds. Uh, I'm going to have to stop me recording for a few minutes and come back to this again. That's nice. That's nice. That is head's perfect. Everything looks quite... Oh, yes. Just there. On the horn bit. Smooth the plastic off and inside. And that's it. Now I'm going to glue this to the base. Now this is how I do it. I'm not going to put the hands on yet. I'm going to do them last, so to speak. I'm going to put it on the glue. Now this is the method that I use. You don't have to do it this way. If you think you've got a better way, then by all means you do it your way. But this is what I find. So I basically offer the beastie to the to the feet, so to speak, to the base. Make sure it's a dry fit and it fits snugly. Then I'm going to take my super glue. I'm going to squeeze down to the rat's tail just to get a little bobble at the end. And then offer that to the hole. Just drip it in. And the same on the other side of the foot, the toe area. Leave them there for a few seconds. Okay. Now, this is the tricky bit. I'm going to attach this beastie to the base so i need to take the lid off my glue get my brush ready because i'm going to use that tamia exit thinner as an activator okay so and then over and in in and around and that's it done yeah, it will frost a little bit, but there you go. Now you're thinking, oh, he's got super glue on his brush. Well, it's an old, it's an old brush, and basically, what that does is it's the actual thinners will thin the super glue off the brush. Look, so there we go. Okay, so 
uh, brushing nice and clean. Now we're going to attach the arms. I mean, she's nice and solid. Solid. She's done well. That's good. Okay, we're now going to attach the arms. So get them in position. So that's the left or oh, that's the right. So what I do is take my brush, take the glue, and I'll move that right still up there. And dollop it inside. There we go. Okay, so that's that one, and then take the arm, and I want to just put a small coating on the, the joint, or the socket, not the ball, the joint. That's the socket. The socket's in my left. The, yeah, you know I mean. And I want to put the arm, just rest it into the thing. And you can turn these to whatever position you want. So if he's sitting like so, do I want it there? I like that. you still got a few minutes to work with it. Yeah, I'm not going to keep it there. Just like that. Yeah, I like that position. Okay, yeah, I like that position there. And let's look at this one. Yeah, put it there as if he's gonna lift, lift, grab something and lift it up to his head and then stick his mouth into it or his jaw bit. It's protruding, protruding, oh, I can't pronounce the word. It's sticky out a bit. I missed that, I forgot to scrape that. How did I forget to scrape that one? I must have scraped the other one twice. I did I put my mate there we go. So I'll just scrape that. There we go. That's it done. And I'm gonna offer this into the socket and then position it. Do whatever you want. There we go. There. And that's it. So I'll just sit her in. I just got to get my glasses on here because we're going to put the tail on next. Okay, just uh, oh, yeah, just move there. Add a little glue into the joints, and that should secure the arms into position. Now, if you want to come and take these apart or something, you'll end up breaking the model, I think, altogether. Because once this glue sets, I mean, she sets rock hard. So there's a bit of frosting around the joints, but the difference is you're gonna. Um, you're going to dry brush these in, oh, it's not dry brush, but you're going to undercoat these anyway. Okay, so let's do the tail. So, the way I do this is, of course, I've got to, I'm going to practice first. Just a dry fit, do I go this way? No, it's got to come up that way around. Yeah, that way, I'll go that way. So, tip the super glue, as you did for the feet, using the rat's tail, put a dollop right there. Yeah, that's enough. Oop, it might be too much, but that should do. And then offer the tail in. So that might take a little bit a while to uh, set, I think. A few seconds. I don't want to breathe on it. Just hold it for there, and that should take hold in a few seconds. Okay, so I'm just balancing it off. That is nice. Okay. Now, here we go, my activator. My plastic weld that I call and then just drop that on go on the opposite side and add it in because I mean this this plastic weld or time is extra thin as is it's doing you're doing two jobs one you super glue sticking the two joints together and then this thin as this extra thin as is actually welding the plastic together so it's getting the best of both worlds, really. And that's it. So I don't want to touch the tail yet, just give it a few more seconds, but the arms, everything is rock solid. You can feel that, you know, the strength of it is sorry. I mean, the arm's just a tiny little bit soft, but it shouldn't take long to set. I mean, that, the legs are in. Now I'm just wanna just, yeah. A few seconds i can see where because i put just a little bit too much um super glue in there so i'm just going to add a bit more thinners so to speak a plastic weld and then just drop that into there that's it there that's it done and that'll 
weld the actual joints together, the plastic in, and that's it done. Okay, and that's basically it. That's the main method. But I just gotta wash that brush because it's it's a it's a nylon cheap brushy thing. I have a box of them somewhere. And once it's you know finished, I just throw them in the bin or use them as a mixing stick. If you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm actually this is not a cutting mat. This is actually a craft mat. It's a silicone. I can't show you, but that's how thin that is. It's about about a mil thin, and I love it. Yes, I do have cut mats. They're used for cutting. They're not used for gluing on. I mean, I can paint on this, so I can wash it off. There we go. So that's it. Brand new brush. Using the time is extra thinners. I mean, I don't use that for my good brushes. Oh, hey. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to push the air out of this glue and wipe off the excess. That's it. And then unscrew nice and gently, take the head, the head off. And that's it. You can see where the um, glue is built up around the nozzle. Clean it off. I always clean it off. Yeah, and then find my lid. And then screw that on. And that's it done. What I like about these bottles, I get them off Timo. And you've got different heads and you just pop that into there and screw it, lock it in. And you can use them that way as well. Brilliant little bottles. I get bags of the I get bags of these things. So I've got a, quite a few of these. You get so many of these. They all come at different I don't know quite sure what millimeters, one millimeter, two millimeters, and there's a very fine one there. And then once you've used them, I take them off and throw them in the bin. I mean you can warm them up if you want and try and break the you know burn the glow out, but these are like ten to the penny so but these things, oh godsend, absolute godsend. Yeah. Now there's glue in that one, so unfortunately I'm gonna have to blow it. I'm gonna blow it through, but I'll do that off camera. And that's it folks. Oh, so thanks for watching.